me again with the, the glorious Mr. H. Um, Mr. H has raised a question which he is now going to put before us. Well, sir, Brexit, I believe uh, our Prime Minister Theresa May has stated she won't trigger Article 50 this year. So, technically, she could leave it till 31st of December 2017 if she wanted. I don't. The, I think they're going to try the damnedest, basically, to to scupper it, to scupper it, it, to get a second referendum, to do this, to do that, because it's not part of the bigger picture for us mm. as a leading so country. So you think it's a phony Brexit? Do I you? just no thinking. I, I just I just think the whole thing's been engineered. I uh, said mm. previously because it's caused so much divide and rule. Oh, I mean, I remain and leave, and I hate people. I, people who voted remain, I, I, I think they're fucking idiots mm. because, because it, I, for the genuine reason, um, why would you want to stay in, in such a, a suffocating, yeah, union uh, r- regime? Yeah. You see, this is what gets me with Scotland. Um, you know, they've cried at Nicola Sturgeon, who's supposed to be a and uh, for independence. How can you be an independent state within a union? Yeah. I think her, her battle cry is any union but this, to be honest. The yeah. One she's currently in. Um, basically, I'd, I, it's sad, but we all know now the game is rigged uh, and the house always wins, as David Ike said. I don't know if he originally coined that phrase. But, you know, whoever you vote for, there's a shadow government behind that and they want us in Europe to be part of the federal state, to be part of a bigger thing, the New World Order. And, um, basically, this society, the only thing left for it, I think, is a... Res- you could, if you could have a possible revolution and clear the decks. Mm. I think what'll happen, sir, I think, is they'll, they'll go and they'll get such a shit deal from Europe, yeah, and then they'll put it to people again, a second referendum, but it won't be termed as a second referendum, although that's what it'll be, yeah. it'll just be another referendum, uh, should we take this deal or not, and it'll yeah. be that poor that even those that voted to leave, such as myself and you, will think, no, we'll be financially ruined, we're better off sticking with status quo. Yeah, yeah, it's... um. It's all very tragic, really. Um, this could lead into a video I was planning to do. Um, echoes of the Fuck It video we made last time, which was well received. Um, there's a song by a, a funk band from the 70s um, called Funkadelic, funnily enough. And they did a song called Free Your Mind and Your Ass Will Follow. Yeah. And I actually think now that in this society, in this world, the way they were never in our lifetimes going to be able to change things dra- drastically. So all you can do is free is is free yourself by not believing the bullshit, living your own life to do what you want to do in life mm. as best you can within the framework that we're all imprisoned in. You know. Yeah. Try and not take the drugs and try and don't switch off your television and as fucking they used to say on Why Don't You in the seventies. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And just, just fucking listen to the alternative media. Don't take don't buy and don't devour that mainstream shit. Throw your television in the garden, try and look at us holistic approaches to life, you know. And that scares them more than anything. Yeah, well the 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 murdering holistic doctors. No, I mean, if you get rid of you, the media and you shut it out of your life, that scares them more than anything, well, yeah. because you've gone off grid. I, I, exactly, you know what I mean? I mean, the only the only news channel with, and that will that will be slightly biased, is Russia Today. Uh, if you well, get, obviously, that's, that's slanted to the Kremlin's but, view. But then it shows you, but you do get a slight inkling yeah, yeah. of... What, you, what you've got to do is, like you say, you watch Russia Today, I think Breibert's another one of Breibert, I don't know how you yeah. pronounce it. Um, and you've just got to look at them all, and then it's interesting go on BBC's website yeah. and watch them show that same story. Yeah, read, read books, you know. Um, go on YouTube and don't really watch fucking cats on skateboards or just fucking shit. Use it to educate yourself, you know. I mean, I like watching. I've just recently discovered someone called Terence McKenna, you know, and he talks about psychedelics and he just talks about this. This, this fucking framework we're imprisoned in, this materialistic 
where you're brought up to work to buy things and you <laughs> things you don't really need. You know what I mean? And I'll I'll, I'll, I'll let society. We've said before, boys in an economic prison. You know, but at the point being, read, expand your mind. You know, just do. You th- don't just sit there watching fucking Towie and the Real Housewives of Cheshire and this and Geordie Shaw and all fucking that. A lot of you people won't do that anyway. That's why we don't get many hits. I'm not bothered about that because we're enjoying what we're doing. But you know what I mean? The, 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 the mainstream is just bullshit and it, it's all glittery and fake tanny and all this yeah, kind of thing. Yeah. But we keep it real. I hate to say that. I say like a right fucking old cunt try to be hip. You know what I mean? But we are in... This is where it's at, kids. Really, this is this is keeping it real. You know what I mean? Nature. You can't get realer than that. You know. Have you any thoughts, Mister H? I just no, not really, mate. I think I think we're. we're no thoughts. <laughs> well, let's stop it then. <laughs> let's go watching Jardy fucking Shaw. No, no, no. I just mean on this subject. So I think we've you've covered it quite well, mate. Right. Um, free your mind, and your ass will follow.